Welcome back to The Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a Google Doc into a website. Just a few easy steps. So things like Google Sites can get very complicated, but I found this new tool called Overdrive.io, which allows you to embed a document into a website in such a way that the document becomes a website. This sounds a little bit complicated, but it's actually very easy. And it's very useful for doing things like hosting a class syllabus or a company intranet online in a much nicer format than just sending someone a link to view a Google Doc. So as you can see here, I've made a Guru intranet doc with some pictures and some links to sites that would be useful for Guru employees. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into overdrive.io and I'll go up to this little person icon in the top right. I'll go to page settings. And then I'll click on the embed tab. And I'll select Google Drive because that's where we will be pulling the content from. And you can pull in your whole Google Drive right here. So we're going to select Internet, which is the name of that document. And we'll click select. And we'll do preserve formatting. So this will allow it to just look like a website. It doesn't look like a Google Doc once we import it. And you, there's some other options for how tables display and things like that. We'll just keep it simple for now. And then we'll click Save Changes. So as you can see, the document is now hosted on this website. So you don't need to send people to view the document anymore. You can just send them right to this website and they won't even know it's a Google Doc. It just looks like a website with links and all of that. And you can edit it by clicking this little pencil icon. And it'll bring up sort of a Google Doc view right in here. And you can make changes to things. We could make these centered, for instance. And then we just click that pencil icon again to save. And as you can see, these are now centered. And you can also click this little pop-out icon if you'd like to edit it directly in Google Drive. Not much difference here, just sort of a personal preference if you'd like to edit it in Drive versus editing it directly in the OverDrive interface. And let's go back into OverDrive and I'll show you what it looks like when you do it as a framed document. Because this can make sometimes more sense for if you have a long form document that you don't want to appear as if it's just site content. So we'll go back up into this person icon in the top right. We'll go to page settings. We'll go to embed. And we'll click framed. And we'll click save changes. And now you can see that this is now framed as if it's sort of an embedded PDF or something like that. And viewers won't be able to edit this document. They will just be able to view it. But all the links and everything still work. The images are still there. And you can scroll through as if it's an embedded PDF. This is really useful for maybe an article that you'd like to have hosted and share with someone rather than share it on Google Docs. Or if you're sharing with somebody who maybe isn't using Google Apps and you just want to send them to a website to view something. So that's all there is to it. It's a really simple process and definitely the easiest way to get from Google Doc to website in just a matter of seconds. So if you have any questions about OverDrive or how this whole process works, just please leave them in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you and have a great day.